first. <laughs> Sorry. I love this Ooh. intro. Exterminate all Metroid organisms on the planet Zetus. Especially this part right up here. Yeah. This part coming up. Oh. <gasps> I love the Hello, uh, everyone. This is B Ryan plays video games with friends. My name is B Ryan, and with me is Kira. Hello. And we're currently starting Metroid Zero Mission. Yeah. This is one of my favorite games ever. To those that are not familiar, uh, to those that did not have a Game Boy Advance while they were like in high school or whatever, Metroid Zero Mission is the Game Boy Advance remake of the original Metroid. Correct. Um, I feel that this is a very good game because it takes a very, very good NES game that its only flaws were, you know, very primitive game design. Yeah. Um, and it just updates it. It, it gives it a new coat of paint and in, like, both its looks and its functionality. It's, no, this is, uh, one of the best remakes I've ever played. It's, it's like such a anything. good Like, on any system. Remake. So I will. It is such a good remake. It, it's like the Resident Evil One remake, the GameCube version. It's like that. Be that became the definitive Resident Evil One for me. This is kind of almost the definitive Metroid One. Just because I agree. It's just it's honestly, just... and it, it might it might also be. Uh, I you, you always have taken into consideration. Metroid Zero Mission was the first version of Metroid that I played. Yes, and then later on. I played the NES version of Metroid. Yeah, and probably um, got your ass handed to you for a little uh, bit. It took me a lot of extra time to... Uh, that that game kicked me around as a kid. But unlike it's that... Kind of a douchebag. Unlike that, Metroid Zero Mission has a lot of extra stuff. Yeah. Uh, it takes kind of into consideration, um, I guess, a lot of the items you find in Super Metroid, I guess. Yeah. Yes, it uh, it takes it takes uh, advantage of like the save feature of the super bombs, and, uh, the super missiles. Um, it, I mean, it, it even adds things like uh, the power grip and stuff like that. Now, see, I love the power. Oh, and there's grip. the speed, and there's the speed shoes, which didn't come around until soon. Oh yeah, that's right. So this game is overall not only is it easier to navigate, but it's kind of faster because. You know, Samus just develops a lot more mobility than she did in the NES game. And speaking of easier to navigate, we are, uh, the way we are playing this, we are using a Game Boy Player. Oh, yeah. As is obvious with the the funky little Z button colon options going on. <laughs> yeah. I really wish there was a way we could take that off. I mean, I would have to, like, in post, whatever. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of work. It sounds like something. Like, what do I look like? Someone who's not lazy? But uh, oh, we I'm are also help. using a um, a Game Boy Advance connector to use the Game Boy Advance SP as a controller for Correct. this game, which I feel is really the ideal way to play this game. We tried playing this game previously with a GameCube controller, and it, <laughs> it was, was... That was a little embarrassing, man. I was, like, was, missing platforms, falling in lava. It was incredibly awkward. A lot of tummy water. It's very, very awkward. A lot of tummy water. And this way, uh, this is much better. Honestly. I don't really mean anything. I was already told. <laughs> I forget. Can you go... I don't oh. have bombs yet. Oh, anyway. that's right. You don't even have bombs yet. What am yeah, I thinking? I gotta get damn bombs. Oh, man. I You're a crazy person thinking I can use not, do bomb things. I am not up to speed. What do I look like a bombie man? Um, so this is not your favorite Metroid. Um, it's very high up there. It's very high up there. I would say my favorite is probably Metroid Prime and then Super Metroid. And this is pretty solid third. I agree with that. That's a very good list. This is a uh, that that's not saying what that are, this one is like super low compared to them. It's just what are the things about Metroid oh. Prime that you like so much? Um, as someone who's already a big FPS person, I I was actually really nervous of oh say what? No, just go ahead. Just make sure you're closer to the mic. That's all. Oh, just okay. in case. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, Sorry about that, folks. Oh, hi, hi, Craig. Oh, it's Craig Ridley. It's Craig and Ridley. Um, no, what, one of the things I really liked about, um, 
Metroid Prime was that they, they just brought it into uh, her perspective. Because the whole point of the series is to feel a certain level of isolation, almost like you're the alien. You know, it's it's almost like, you know, even though, I mean, she, she was kind of raised here, but, you know. You're, was she raised here? Um, there are, there are some parts of the story that say that she was raised on Zebus uh, by the Chozo for a brief period of her childhood. Now, see, that's interesting. I didn't know that part about Yeah, no, she, she actually, her, her suit was made for her specifically by the Chozo. Oh, okay. That's why it's fitted to suit her perfectly. It's, I see. It's not like a, it's not like one of those situations where just anyone finds it and put it on. Samus is the only one that has a Varia suit. Yes, this is her suit. I mean, well... The, the only person in human society. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have since suit. the Chozo are kind of gone, we never really get to see if they had like their own versions of the Varia suit. I'm sure back then there were like a oh, crap I already, ton I already of Varia went that suit. way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I, that part. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, I know we're I'm... on the right track. Yeah, I'm sure back then uh, the Chozo had like a billion Varia suits. They were like the Dude, I you know, they looked awesome. Too. They were like the iPad. <laughs> Just teenagers have or like you know the rush jet <laughs> oh i love rush jet <laughs> excuse me i have to cough <coughs> that's mm. quite all right oh well, well, that's quite all right we'll probably i think i need to go down actually do you yeah i'm gonna go down i'm gonna go down is that okay with you if i go down i will say yeah it's Ooh, fine safer. it's fine it's perfectly nice. okay you are the one playing you have free reign in in what you do and that's because uh Metroid is kind of your baby. Yeah, yeah. Metroid and, and Mega Man specifically. Yeah, Metroid and Mega Man are... You have a very uh, wonderful fixation <laughs> on gun arms. I, I noticed that, actually. Uh, yeah, my friend it was, just... Was pointing uh, that out. The other, it's uh, really the funny. Day, but someone made fun of me a, a couple of years ago, saying, like, oh, my favorite characters have, like, weird things. Yeah, like, my favorite... Tran like, one of my favorite Transformers is Megatron. It has the gigantic gun on one arm. Huh. I don't know. I, oh, you don't I, went, any... I did. You know what? I went the not the wrong way. I got the missiles, but I can't. I gotta. Actually, you might have had to go this way just to uh, encounter a uh... oh, big boy here. Yeah, that yeah, might have been. Yeah, right. I remember this guy. Yeah. This douchebag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, hey, nice. I don't look at you like that. Nice to see you. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? He I turned like around a... as I fired. And it, ah, I'm hitting like the very, very outside of his eye. Like he really looks like a Legend of Zelda villain, like it a does. monster, like a Moldorm, or like a what was the other one called? A Lamalas? A Lamalas? Ah, like I forget. But anyway, uh, it looks like he's gone. Dude, I got my ass kicked. That was not my best fight with him. <laughs> he's gonna come back, right? Uh, he is gonna come back until I beat him. I see. And to, uh, I think the third time you encounter him. The game forces that to be the last one. Like, he won't leave until you beat him. Oh, yeah. But you have a chance to kill him before it even comes to that. So I really did like... I just, uh, I just blew it. So. I really did like certain aspects of that in, in certain games. Like, uh, you know, in, in Dragon's Crown, some of the bosses, they have, like, a you-didn't-kick-his-ass-seriously-enough condition yeah. to, to beating them. So, like, they escape or something, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't have bombs to knock them off yet. Do they even do anything? Um, they can slow you down and slowly eat at your health. Really? Yeah. Oh, I just thought they were for show, like the, uh, the atmosphere. Um, like actually, oh, I've just got fucking bugs on me. Whatever. I mean, you could say that because they're really not an actual threat, but they but they, they do actually hurt you. They do actually hurt you. That yeah. so is, I mean they are. I never knew that. You shouldn't let them just crawl all over. You. I see. Probably not a good idea. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, there's something over here I remember. Oh yeah, I remember that part. There's yeah. more missiles over here. It's like they're defending the hive, but with oh jeez, get I can't, out! Of I can't here. fire a clean missile. Oh, there we go. Nice. I feel like in video games, there's nothing more stressful than having a specific target to to attack. Yeah. But then being distracted by other targets that you don't necessarily need to, but like they're attacking you. So yeah, exactly. Basically, this situation right here. Uh, and they replenish themselves. I mean, these are this is a never-ending flow of enemies. I believe they call them ads. <laughs> In the MMO universe. Oh no! 
they're referred to as ads. Ads. Now, what? What? Why is that? I've been because out of the they're trying world to sell you a uh, dish soap and like clothing lines. They're trying to sell you a lot of stuff. See, yeah, they like slowly pick up. My oh, health. dude. Yeah, it's real. It's. It's not a, you. It's not a lot of damage, but it's enough to where you still want to shake them off. Oh, hey. here we go. DC as well. Oh, we meet again, you uh, ugly, ugly dude. One ugly. Well, I'm trying to get health. That's what I'm trying to. Get. It, was, it was nice knowing you, Kira. <laughs> I'm sure your your death won't be in vain. Oh, okay. Oh, well, oh, oh, well oh, oh. maybe, maybe there's a chance. Maybe Things Kira has better. a chance time on B Ryan plays video games we will continue playing Metroid Zero Mission uh stay tuned and please please do subscribe please subscribe like if possible like if possible yeah <laughs> it's like possible to like it so when would it be impossible um maybe if the site was broken maybe if their hands were invisible and they couldn't touch things. You please say you're not still recording me. Yeah, bro, you're still recording me, you son of a dick. <laughs>